What's going on everyone? So today, real quick video, and we're gonna talk about touching up patina. Um, if you're building a ride where you're gonna leave the outside looking like this, but maybe you need to fix some rust, uh, maybe a way to be able to blend that. That way, you don't just stick out like a sore thumb. So let's get started. So the front of these internationals are notorious for rusting out up here. Um, it rusted out all this, all up underneath here, even underneath the dash of this thing, but that's a whole nother video where we repair that. But over here was a area that had rusted out as well. And I had to do a little patch there as you can see, because I don't want water getting back in there. So this patch didn't turn out that great. It could actually use a little bit of mud on it. Um, the last time I bought any filler was like two years ago, so none of the stuff I have is good. But we're going to go ahead and do it because I almost think that being uneven is going to give it character. I don't think it's going to stand out that bad. And the worst, thing's that, the worst thing that happens is it does look bad and we can still swipe it with body filler and redo it. So, so I have some flat red primer. I have some black, I have some brown, gold, and white. I didn't go buy any of these. These are just things I happen to have. The first thing I want to do is just get some paint on this where I can start drying. Basically to get a little uh, just base coat on there so the paint will stick to it. Now this color's kind of brown, but it's got red in it too. That's why I'm gonna add a hint of red to it. I don't know if it'll turn out good or not, but it's kind of a fun way of doing this. Just kind of experimenting. I've just been taking a piece of sheet metal to be able to spray the paint on. So that's red and that uh, kind of red primer or burnt red primer. I'm using a paintbrush. So when using your little paintbrush here, I mean, you, most people, you know, when a paintbrush, you think about wiping, but you wanna do like Bob Ross doing those little happy trees and kind of blotch that on there. I mean, we want this to look like it could have happened. So I'm probably just gonna take this all the way down to this corner. So I got me a nice little base down. I'm gonna start in this corner and then I did a little bit over into here. I've only done this one time before and that was on the other side and there wasn't any rust for me to work with. I just kind of had to do it all myself. So we're learning as we go here. I'm trying to match closer to this color. So I did a spray that red oxide primer and a little bit of white on it. Trying to match kind of right there. That seems to be pretty close. Just trying to trick people at 70 miles an hour also when we're blowing their doors off. Anyone who's looking for this will notice it, but if they're not looking for it, most people's not gonna notice it. And we're gonna let that dry up a little bit. So for our area kind of right here where the rest is darker, I'm gonna do a spray of brown and then just a little bit of black in there with it to darken that brown up. Spray of brown. Shot of black with that. Mix that up over here. That's too dark.
There we go. Alright, so next we got our lighter color on the outside, our darker rust in there. Now we're going to take our brown with just a little bit of white and we're going to try to make just a kind of normal brown rust color and we're going to kind of blend these all together. I tried a little more brown and red with that and it's kind of fun doing this really it's just an experiment because I'm no expert with colors or anything um, you definitely don't want to just full load down your brush when you go to start blending these I've been kind of putting some paint on there and then coming off to the side kind of trying to scrape most of it kind of off or just the end of the bristles have some. All right guys, that's it for this video. We're actually a couple weeks past of when I recorded doing the other side and that's because I wanted to redo this driver side and add some more red and kind of feather this a little different. The way I did it before was pretty obvious. The red on this side is still not quite perfect so I may mess with it again, but we're gonna fool most people who's not looking for it. And you know, going 80 down the highway, people is definitely not gonna notice it. Um, so, Hopefully this will help out some of you guys. Now obviously you wouldn't want to try to do a whole vehicle like this, but if you have to fix a little rust area, or maybe if you want to shave like say, where the gas cap was on a cab or something, maybe doing something like this can help you guys out. You're just gonna to have to kind of look at the colors that are on your vehicle and make it work from there. You'll have to get a little creative and maybe spend some time mixing colors and make it work. Um, but, we're right at Christmas time, so holiday stuff always slows stuff down. Mama's Yukon lost the tra transmission, so we I've got it in here right now. It's actually what the camera's sitting on. So there may be a little delay in getting a video out in the next week or two, but I'm gonna try to prevent that from happening. Um, for everyone who comes back and watches the channel, I appreciate it, guys. Thanks for coming to watch my videos. If you're new to the channel, uh, please check out some of the other videos. We're in the middle of building the travel law. We've done a lot of stuff up here on the front frame, so check out some of those. If you're on Instagram, I'm on there at Puddin's Fab Shop. Y'all can go give me a follow. And I'll see you guys in the next video. But don't forget, sitting on your ass won't finish your project. I'll see you guys next time.